Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be making matcha mochi cake. I have a lot of matcha powder to use up and while I usually make matcha lattes with it, I thought it would be fun to try something different today and use it to make a dessert instead. I'm going to start with whisking the wet ingredients which are eggs, milk, and vanilla extract and I will be using my KitchenAid stand mixer for this because it saves me so much work and makes the process a lot easier and it also lets me do other things while it runs. So we're gonna let that whisk on its own while I prepare the dry ingredients. First up, I'm going to whisk sugar and matcha powder together and one of my favorite parts of working with matcha is getting to use the matcha whisk. There's something so satisfying whisking the clumps of matcha and watching it turn into a smooth powder. Next, I'm going to add in one box of mochiko flour, which is one of my favorite ingredients because I absolutely love the chewy texture of mochi. And on top of that, I'm going to add in just a little bit of baking powder and then I'll give it a good whisk until it's all combined. Now I'm going to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients in the stand mixer, carefully pouring it in and making sure that none of the matcha powder spills because I can't let any of that go to waste. While that's mixing, I'm going to warm up one can of coconut milk and melt more butter, which are the final two ingredients needed for this batter. And once they're both ready, I'm going to pour them right into the bowl, which will allow the batter to smoothen significantly. While it mixes, I'm going to brush more melted butter onto a 9 by 13 inch baking pan, which is where I'll pour my batter once it's done. There's no trick to this, just simply pour it right in. Then, I'll top it off with shredded coconut flakes, making sure it's spread evenly by using my hands to spread them out carefully, and also using more flakes to fill in any blank spots. Now, the hardest part of this recipe is transferring our almost final product into the oven to bake without letting the batter or any of the coconut flakes move at all. I'm going to slowly lift up the pan while making sure it stays level all the way until it touches down into the rack and once it does that, I will have to slowly push it in while my hands are starting to bake with how slow I'm pushing it in. But once that's done, that's job done and I can finally breathe. This is what it looks like halfway through the baking process and you can see the coconut flakes start to brown a bit. I'm going to leave it in the oven for a total of one hour and while I wait, I'm going to clean up the kitchen a bit and make myself a matcha latte. Once it's done baking, I'm going to place the pan on top of a wire rack to let it cool for an hour or two before I lay my hands on it. I'm going to turn off the studio lights and it's time to play some video games while I wait. Once it's cooled enough, I'm going to take the cake out of the pan using my hands because I don't feel like washing any more utensils. And in order to slice the cake, I'm going to coat my knife in oil so that nothing sticks to it. And I'm going to slice it into twos until I get square pieces, using my hands to kind of judge the halfway point right before slicing each piece. And there you have it, a delicious matcha mochi cake that's not only tasty, but also very chewy. It's a great way to use your matcha powder at home, and it's an easy dessert to share with friends and family since they're already sliced into many pieces. So, I'm going to transfer them into Ziploc bags that are ready to be delivered. I hope you give this simple recipe a try and enjoy it as much as I do. Just be careful because there's caffeine in it, and if you're sensitive like me, I will get carried away eating this dessert and stay up till 4am because of it. 
But that is it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below your favorite way to use matcha powder. Or comment what you thought of this video. I'll see you all in the next one.